I'm Claudia Zakara. Y you and Sonny. Everyone deals with rejection differently, and Sonny, well, let's just say after you declined his marriage proposal, he didn't crawl off licking his wounds. You can't be too shocked. I mean, with just one look at the man, you can tell he's not the whining, pining sort. He's decisive. He takes action. I like that. Especially in bed. Claudia, is it? Mm hmm You're wondering if it's true. I'm wondering why you're telling me all this. I think it's unfair that you be kept in the dark about what happened between me and Sonny. A man who recently proposed marriage to you. This one's on the house. I'm doing you a favor. Oh, is that what this is? I realize it might be hard for you to see it right now for what it is, because your mind is crowded with images. You're still So dealing... what do you want? You, you want me to thank you? No. That would be too much. I'll be happy just knowing that I've opened your eyes. I think that you deserve to know what kind of man you're really dealing with. Sonny thinks his actions won't have consequences, that he can come on like a stormtrooper? Busting up people's lives with impunity? Maybe that's the way it used to be, but not anymore. I understand. Good. No, I mean, I understand why you're really here. Sonny slept with you once, trying to obliterate his pain, trying to obliterate thoughts of me. Trust me. You were the last thing on his mind, sweetheart. And despite your coarse behavior oh, your and poor this compulsion you have to shock people, you seem like a relatively intelligent woman. So it couldn't have taken you long to figure out what was really going on with Sonny. He was just using you. You could have been anyone. Of course, you have to think that because the alternative is too painful. You came here to check out the competition. I don't see any. <laughs> wow. You're just a scary little girl, aren't you? I wonder what happened to make you that way. Hard for me to believe that you are the arbiter of fashion and taste for millions of American women because you're such a poor judge of your own gender. Am I? You really are. I'm no little girl. And I'm no lady either. Just ask your would-be husband. Maybe I will. Good. And while you're at it, why don't you ask him what he scribbled on that little cocktail napkin right before he gave me his ring key? Man, you are just working so hard to make me feel threatened and insecure while I'm recovering from being shot. I'm hooked up to all of these tubes and monitors. I mean, really, Claudia. I know who you it's really sad, are. It's sad, Claudia. You know Underneath all that manner and polish, I know. And see, if you were really secure, you'd tell him that we had this conversation, but you're nothing. You're a phony. You're a fake. And you won't tell him. You won't tell him. I know you have a lot of other things on your mind, Sonny. You didn't have to go out of your way. Open it. I'll take that for you. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like the same one your cousin Gloria gave you back in your neighborhood when we were teenagers and, you know... You, you said thought that, you hated that hat. Well, I didn't hate the girl wearing it. Well, I said I hated the dress. I suppose I hated the hat, too. <laughs> and I remember that you, you didn't want to make Gloria feel bad, so you wore it like it was something out of couture, and you wore it all day like it was, you know, royalty. And you know what? I actually started to like it because you look so damn beautiful in it, and I, I'm looking in your eyes, and they were sparkling, and the sun was shining, and 
And I thought to myself, wow, you know, this is, this is what it feels like. This is what it feels like to be in love. And I thought that I could never feel like that with anyone. You all right? Hey. You okay? Okay. What's going on? Did the doctor say something about your condition? Come here. Okay. Something's going on here, and you're gonna. You, what, what's? Did something happen no. while I was gone, and no. you're not telling me, or what? Sonny, it's just. It's just the medication. I'm just making me emotional. <laughs> All right. Are you sure? And yeah, I'm just thinking back, you know. Brings up a lot of memories about choices and why we made them. Well, my father saw the girl in the memorable yellow hat that day and What he saw was how she made me smile. And all he got, you know, all he ever wanted from me was to find somebody to make me smile like that again. And the truth is, I had. I mean, you can change your name, you can have a different job, I don't care. You're still the same girl I'm from the old neighbor. older and wiser, Sonny. Listen. I want to make you feel the way you made me feel that day. I want to make you smile the way you made me smile that day. Things are going to be different. We can, we can be those teenagers laughing in the sunlight, you know, with enormous possibilities in front of us. But I tell you what, I promise you, nothing is going to come between. 